Newsflash tonight, Russia may actually have intervened in American politics, but not in the way you have heard about. This is an amazing story. In a newly released letter to the Treasury Secretary, Steve Mnuchin, Republican Congressman Lamar Smith and Randy Weber say that Russia is working with American environmental groups to spread misinformation about hydraulic fracturing. Fracking, it's called. The goal? Get it banned, fracking banned in the U.S., which, of course, would hurt the U.S. energy sector and benefit the Russian energy sector. It's all about the price of gas. Kevin Mooney is an investigative reporter with The Daily Signal, and he joins us now with details. Kevin, this, this story's almost too good. It's almost like you, you almost couldn't make this up. Actually, they did intervene, but on behalf of Greenpeace. Is that an overstatement? How did this happen? Well, let's give Russia credit. They know how to look out for their own interests. But right. the problem is they're using our own environmental movement to advance their interests. And here's, here's the really big bombshell. And let's thank Representative Lamar Smith and his colleagues with Oversight of Our Energy who, who dug into this and connected the dots. Russia is using a, a shell company in Bermuda, the funnel company through which then goes to a group called the Sea Change Foundation, which then disperses tens of millions of dollars to their own environmental organizations in the U.S., which in turn carry the water for Vladimir Putin to slam and smear the, the uh, innovative practice of fracking, which has enabled the shale gas revolution. Which of course. Had, which, as you know, has really greatly bolstered America's... And undercut standing. Russia's position in the energy markets. Right. Our official position on this show is we are skeptical of all Russia stories until we see the proof. So the allegation is that the Russian government has funneled money pretty directly to American environmental groups. How do we know that's true? Well, we know it from our own intelligence community. If you go to the DailySignal.com, which is our news site at the Heritage Foundation, they lay this out with a letter from Lamar Smith. Uh, they've known this for years. In fact, I'll even cite Hillary Clinton, who was Secretary of State, cited phony environmental groups that were being uh, funded by the Russians. She described herself as an environmentalist and expressed frustration that the Russians were propping up these environmental organizations to advance their own interests. This is really about protecting Gazprom, Russia's of large course. oil company. Because if, if, if the United States fracking revolution and then and the shale gas revolution accelerates, it puts Gazprom and Russia back on their heels. Well, for, I mean, their entire economy is built on At least this story has an explicable logical motive. The idea that Trump got the support of Putin because they're both fascists and they like each other. I mean, it doesn't, it, it's not a compelling motive. This is a clear motive that makes economic sense, and so it's, it's easier to buy. Is it legal? If this is true, if we learn that U.S. environmental groups took money from the Russian government, is that against the law? Well, that's why uh, Lamar Smith and other congressmen are calling for the U.S. Treasury Department to conduct an investigation into this. Let's at least look at the financing. If you're going to ask all these questions about how much Russia is influencing elections or how much influence they have on Donald Trump, then it logically follows we should look at something that has a tangible connection. It would make sense for Russia to try to stop fracking exercises in, in the United States because if we succeed, we can liberate Poland and most of Europe from their economic dependence on Russia. Well, that, that, that's the key. So finally, we know that there's an awful lot of anti-energy, anti-natural gas, anti-fracking propaganda on Russian state television in the U.S. RT, which is otherwise a very left-wing channel. It's not like a pro-Trump channel, that's for sure. Is that, are we certain that that is intentional, that the Russian government wants RT to spread anti-fracking propaganda to hike the price of U.S. natural gas? I'm not sure it's intentional. I think some folks are just being duped. I think it's a combination right. of the two. There, you have certain levels of the environmental movement that may be compliant in this or complicit on a certain level. Right. And you have rank and file sincere environmentalists who I think are just being duped and manipulated, which Russia is very adept at doing. So I, I guess what we're looking at here is the wholesale hacking of our environmental establishment. Yeah, I mean, the, the modern environmental movement has nothing to do with environmentalism as it's defined in the dictionary. Oh, I've, not oh, I've absolutely noticed that. It seems like an outrage to me. Kevin Mooney, thank you for that. That was fascinating. Oh, thanks so much.